Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato, on top of a bush. Down the hatch, but when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No, that's my magic metamato. Kirby gulped the metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up, but the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. Thanks for saving me! What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland! You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Solrub65 and welcome to my new walkthrough of Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Fusion Media Hub. So yeah, uh, this game, Kirby's Epic Yarn, uh, a lot of people think it's kind of childish game, kind of a... I did not mean to go in there, but okay. Uh, I guess I'll talk about this now. This is the Room of Records, and uh, whenever you, you see up at the top, the percent is how much you completed of, of that thing. Once you get 100% on everything, you 100% the game. But uh, I've never 100% in this game before. I've completed it before because it's a really easy game. But you know, it, I haven't never 100%ed it. So right here, let's go into the first level, which is called Patch Castle. You get a little wildies dancing, and that one over there just sleeping. Apparently he's tired. All right, right here, this is the tutorial level. It's gonna tell you to press two to jump. Jump up here. And if you press one, you get to use your yarn whip. You get to get these beads right here. You get to use this money. And I just spoiled that because you can actually ravel up enemies by holding one. And you can use them to hit these color blocks. And up there, that's a bonus star, but we don't. I don't really want to get that right now. Cause would, you know how to do, do backtracking and stuff. On this thing right here, you want to get it. It's uh. At the end of the level, you have like this choice of how many stars you get, depending on like the time you hit the thing. And the more stars you get, the more beads you get, which is the money in this game. So yeah, that could be helpful. Right here, we have another bonus star. The first treasure, chandelier. The chandelier is very simple and very elegant. You can't go wrong here. No, you can't. All right, inside here, you press up, and look, you get to be like 3D Kirby inside of the wall. And press up again to get out. And yeah, that just means you got another medal. Alright, if you press 2, jump up, and then hold 2 again. You get to be a little parachute. You collect all these beads. I just like being a little car because it speeds stuff up. 
press your yarn whip on that button and you get to make a platform up here. This thing is swing back and forth. Jump up here to get our second treasure, which is the king's throne. You feel like a king when you sit on this gold player throne. All right, and we get to use our little ground pounding thing. You get to see in all the Kirby games. If that's here too. I kind of like this Kirby game, even though a lot of people don't. Because, you know, it's completely different from the other ones, so. But it, it can be fun at times. Patch Castle. This is the new music to play in Patch Castle. Which is the level we're in right now. Alright, this thing right here is the little thing I was talking about. If you, The more of those things that you get, the more stars you get. You want to hit your yarn whip up there when it's right there. Rotate 360 degrees. And it'll be on the place you hit right now. And we got the most speeds we can. So it fills up the whole screen. We do a little dance thing with Prince Fluff. Complete a level. Let's see how we did. We got gold, yeah. Good for the first episode. All three treasures. Pretty nice. Alright, here we have a cutscene. Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. <laughs> sure. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, how dare he? You just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible. Horrible what? But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three eyed blob of yarn. Ew, gross. Three eyed blob it. of yarn? But before the blob, could like a blob eat of yarn Prince Fluff, Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it. That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. So we helped this him find the thing he was looking Fluff for for looking forever, for. but he said he didn't need our help. Yarn had yeah, stolen the right. magic yarn from Patchland. And with this magic yarn, we get to use it to get our next piece of Patchland, which is... Grass Rainbow Double Land. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of Patchland together. Yeah, you're gonna hear that a lot. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces. And the two began their journey to stitch Patchland back together. Alright, so. The end of the first level, and that's our journey of this game. To stitch Patchland back together and defeat Yin Yarn. Oh wait, I just said his name out loud. Did they say it in the cutscene? Yeah. I think they did. I don't know. Alright, so, that's pretty much it for this first land here. Except you, you get to use your yarn whip to bring these umbrellas out. This place will be important for later, so you want to go over here. And here's a cutscene, another one. A lot of cutscenes in the first episode. Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who you want your friend here be? Lord Kirby? Since when am I a lord? It's kind of cool, though. He's visiting from another world, you say? How exciting. Because I got sucked in for this cheap sorcerer. My name is Don Wu, and it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. I bet it is. Lord Kirby's helping you save our beloved Patchland? Oh, that's just wonderful. I'm the manager of Quilty Court here. And I'm just, Please come inside for a moment. I insist. No, I don't want to, but apparently the cutscene's gonna make us. Since we're doing this little thing. Whoa, did you see that lag there? That was major lag. Welcome to your new home. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, I don't know, wanna know what that laugh was. Well, I suppose not much to look at yet. Well, obviously. Well, I'd be honored to have one of Prince Fluff's guests stay here. I bet you would. And we get a magic chair! Oh wait, it's just a normal chair. A proper home must be properly furnished. Please accept this gift for me. Feel free to furnish a new place any way you desire. We'll discuss the rent later. I have to do a rent for my house? This is Kirby Land. Do I get to use my beads? Go ahead and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Now, excuse me, I think I hear one of my other tenants walking by outside. How do you hear him? You guys are ready to yarn. I don't get it. Alright, this thing should pop up. Just ignore it. We're gonna get out of here. Our dull house, which we're gonna actually maybe transform into an awesome place later we'll see all right and watch this guy look at his hands what is is that like his mustache or his hands or 
He's made of yarn, what do I expect? Oh look, here's our little pad now. It has my face on it. How awesome is that? I'm like the lord of everything. It just say Lord Kirby's pad. That would be cool. Alright, so, uh, I think it's gonna end this episode off of Don- Ugh, Don- Don- I am so used to saying that. Kirby's Epic Yarn here. So, next episode, we're going to go into Crassland. See you guys, then.